Slow down LA and force them to run offense 35 feet from the basket. I'm gonna get a tape measure out to see how far away they are to be exact at halftime. Usually I think tape measure, it's just to figure out if I can fit a new couch in the living room. Talbot, outlet. Three balls, Zaya Cook well short. First minutes, the last couple of games for Cook did not appear in Sunday's game at Atlanta. Kurt Miller searching for answers. It's a hefty stretch for the Sparks. He did mention we will have to manage minutes very carefully tonight with the two games against the Liberty later in the week. Bantam playful on the screen. Step back. Bantam. We come up on a minute to go in the half. Shot clock to four. Cook, same spot as before with two. Knife's inside, Zaya Cook. That's what LA needs more of, getting inside into the mid-range. Anything they can do to try to get into the paint is going to be massive headed into the second half. Connecticut shooting 59% from the floor. Tiffany Mitchell. Curls around the arc, lost her dribble with seven to fire. In the hands of Hamby. Scoreless first half for De'Erika Hamby, averaging a double-double. Leads the league with 11. Nurse spots up. Sun can hold for the final shot. Looking for a win 13 in game 14. That would be a franchise best. Alyssa Thomas puts the head down. Water three in the air. And a foul. It's away from the basketball. Fouls on McDonald. He was trying to get through a ball screen there. Rachel Bannon did a really nice job coming up to set that on Alyssa Thomas. And that's where I believe this, uh, the foul rather was called. In a way, a smart one that has one to give. Inbound stolen. Nurse with two up the floor. Heaves. Just short. Connecticut had a lead of 13 moments ago. An 11 point cushion through 20 minutes of basketball. Bonner with 10, Jones with 9, Harris with 8, Carrington with 6. Aren't you sensing a theme? It's not a countdown, it's the balance. Ty Harris with 8, as we said. Very balanced ever for the Suns.